Hello Aces, welcome back to module one, lesson two. In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about how do you get clarity on your restaurant's values. When you, what you're gonna learn are why is it key to your restaurant's success, and also how do we find and define your top five values. Let's dive right in. What are values? Okay, first of all, values are things that you believe are important in the way you live. This is something that you're working in sync. This is something that's inner, in your gut, inside. Something is right, something is wrong. These are your values. And it helps you prioritize what is important in your life and your business. Some people value money, therefore they're okay with working 18 hours a day to just to slave for money and slave for a job. Next up, this also acts as your parameters in your life. After you're able to define your values, these are the things that guide you to live your life. Things that you would do, things that you would not do are all based upon your own values, know it or not. And that's the reason why we're gonna dive right in today on how and where you're gonna be able to find these values. So why is it even important to have the clarity that whenever you ask me, what my values are, I can tell you right away without scratching our heads, without thinking. It is super important for us as leaders to know our val values because it helps us guide our decision. Being able to make decisions on the fly is super important as a restaurant owner or even as a business and as a leader. And it's so crucial for us to make split second decisions because oftentimes we as problem solvers. We have millions of different questions we need to answer on a daily basis. And that's the reason why knowing your values will allow you to make this process super simple. And it also are actually answers that are truthful to you. So when you do things and when you make decision that is in line and with what you truly believe in, everything will seem right. You're not like fighting against the current. How many times have we decided to do something that in a way we kind of feel reluctant, that we feel like, hmm, I probably should have said no, or hmm, I probably should have done things a little bit differently. That is because we were not clear with our values and thus the decision that we made might not be working in flow with our own values. And like I said, if you make decision based upon your own values and you're clear about that, everything becomes faster and easier. What happens if you don't do that? You're always indecisive and you're always in doubt. You don't have the values out in front of you. It's not written or you're not clear. You've never reflected on it. And that's the reason why you always take a long time to make a decision. Something in your heart is telling you that it's not the right answer or the right decision. But logically it might make sense and we're always stuck in this tug of war. That's the reason why we need to know our values. Second, it is that it strengthens your character. Understanding and having clarity in your values truly makes you become a better leader. Having it also allows you to attract like-minded people that whenever you're hiring or if you wanna onboard a partner, you need to be able to on part partners with the same type of values, that they think the same and have the same kind of beliefs. And that's the reason why uh, that would fix a lot of different conflicts that might occur. And this is how a true leader is born and how influence is developed because people see exactly what you value and other people that ha don't have this strong stance, that they don't have this clear belief and this clarity they can come see you as a leader because you're so clear on your own values. Well, what happens if you don't have that clarity in your value? You would not be able to lead and inspire your team. People think that you are wishy-washy. They don't understand where you stand on a certain problem or a certain question when it arises, and thus you're not able to lead them full-heartedly. Versus if you're very clear on your decision, your staff will see that, oh, Wilson will definitely say no to this. And therefore, that really creates that loyalty within your staff, within your customers, and even within yourself. 
The third reason why it's super important to understand and have clarity in your value is that it provides clarity. It allows you the ability to focus and be productive and not always second guessing yourself. So many times, like I said, we're dealing with so many questions on a daily basis. And you, if you still, every single problem that arises, you still need to go back to your gut, double check everything and see if it's right. You're relying on your, your, your feelings, your insides, your heart. That's going to make the whole process much more prolonged and not having that clarity. It's just very difficult. You're going to lack the conviction, the direction and the inner fire to push through every day is just not going to be there. It's not going to be as apparent. It's not going to be as convicting. That's the word that we're looking for is conviction, guys. Knowing your values allows you to have conviction. Next is that it reduces a ton of stress and just imagine that you don't need to always play this tug of war game inside. You can just know what is the right thing to do based upon your own values. My values, for example, is integrity. Anything that goes against integrity, I will not do. And all my staff partners know that. And so if there was a situation where it challenges my integrity, automatically, I know for a fact that, hey, Wilson is a person of high integrity. Therefore, he will not do this. And automatically, I'll say no to shady deals. Simple as that. It doesn't matter how much more money it's going to drive me or that it's that I'm going to make $10,000 in profit. I will say no because that is against my values. Same thing with you. Defining your values allows you to be stress free, not stress free, but a lot less stress. Also, communication becomes much, much easier between your partners and the team members because they understand you super well. They understand what, what would fly with you and what would not fly with you. What happens if not is that the stress of miscommunication and always a burden to think what is the right thing to do, it's just super tiring and it burns you out. No one likes that. So please make sure you have defined your own values. And also, when you don't know your own values and when you're stressful this truly bleeds into your internal relationships as well and that's the reason why we want to make sure we define that now that we know the importance of value how do you find these values how do you define it within your own world what do you truly believe in what do you care about these are the things that are authentic to you and it has nothing and i repeat nothing to do with anyone else in the world except for you just because someone else has a really beautiful or convicting value does not mean anything to you if that's not something you believe in values are distinctively you so nailing down your top five values the first step guys is to go into the link below and download the list of 230 values i've actually gone out and co collected a bunch of values that's going to suit all of you guys out there download it first and then choose the top 20 to 30 that resonates with you the most okay based upon your happy place and based upon your sad place the common pitfall for us is that our cautious mind we'll start to choose the ones that appear better than others because we're often as humans, we want to be able to choose things that has an uplift in status. So for example, it's great to be able to choose honesty as a value because innately we understand being honest is a good value and therefore we choose it. But if you're just not really into it, if it doesn't really mean that that much to you, you don't get offended when people are not honest with you or that you don't, it, it, especially happy when people are honest with you, then don't choose it because it has nothing to do with being looking nice or being nice or whatsoever. It has nothing to do with that, guys. So download the list and start circling away. Next step, your happy place. What does it mean? That's the most fulfilling and rewarding memory that comes to your specific mind. What's happening around you and how exactly do you feel? What top values were you honoring at that time? For me, myself, my happy place is when I'm chilling with my friends, when I am just in flow, having great conversations with them, being silly with them and just being there present with them. That itself allows me to understand having balance is a core fundamental belief and value that I have because I truly value them. 
not just about business, not just about my health, not just about my friends, but having a balanced lifestyle is what I truly believe in. So you would have something else. Next up is your sad place. The most upset, angriest moment that comes to your mind. What's happening around you? How did you feel? What values were compromised that made you sad? And as I was stating before, integrity. Integrity is huge for me because when I first ran my first business, it was a tutoring business. I hired an admin to help me out. My admin worked for me for three months and later on too, she told me she's going back to school. Completely fine, I was happy dandy. Six months later, one of the contractors that used to work for me, they called me up. They were like, hey Wilson, what happened to Tammy? Does Tammy still work for you? Because Tammy seems like has set up shop down the street. And I didn't even know that my contractor had to tell me. And then after some investigation, I went in to dig in further. I just realized that my admin has stole everything that I've built with my bare hands, went down the street and created the same type of tutoring academy using my same contractors and using my same principles. And that itself made me super, super devastated. We went into a lawsuit, I had to sue her for money so on and so forth. Long story short, that was my sad place and which is the reason why I understand having integrity, high integrity is so crucial to me and I hold so truly to me. For you, it could be something else or it could be the same. Identify the values based upon your sad place. Next up is to categorize into bigger buckets. Now that you have a list of 20 to 30 values that it sound right to you and that, oh, it seemed like that it resonates with you. It is time to categorize them into bigger buckets. So for example, learning, growth, trust, these are all great themes. What we can do is put them into a bigger bucket. For example, development that encompasses and categorizes all these values. And we're going to be putting in them into different buckets. And after the fact that we categorize them into bigger buckets, we're going to highlight the central theme from each group. Choose that one word within each of these groups that speaks the loudest to you. For example, learning. Let's go back up to this. Learning and growth and empowerment, development. Everything is within the development bucket. What we're going to do is to identify that one thing that you feel makes the most sense. And for me, it is empowerment. Empowerment speaks the loudest to me, which is the reason why I would put empowerment down as my top 10 out of all the different groups that's happening. So cut out the ones that don't resonate with you as much and really just focus on the ones that speaks the loudest to you as we're shortlisting them. Next up is we're gonna fine tune and shortlist your values to the top five ask yourself these questions out of all the buckets in the value which ones are essential to your life which ones represents you your primary of way of living which ones emotionally move you close your eyes guys when you're doing this tell yourself speak it out loud that specific value if it's empowerment speak empowerment out loud and see how it feels inside your gut will tell you which one are the top five after you have finalized your top five value, make it yours, guys. Own the value by making it memorable and making a sentence that relates to you emotionally. What does it, how does it touch you? How do you resonate with it? This gives you accountability and ownership to it and it allows you to really own that specific value. I'll give you an example. For me, Health is super, super important and it is also part of my values. I need to be able to live with full vitality and energy each day. And the reason why it means so, so much to me is because my dad, he has arthritis and that's why I see him suffer on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis. He lacks a ton of energy and that's the reason why for me, health is a really, really important value because I see that, I see the suffers, I see the sorrows and that's why I hold it so truly to me that I need to do whatever I can to ensure that I live each day with full vitality 
and energy. Make health yours. Just because I have this sentence doesn't mean that you have the same definition of health. It could be something completely different. So that's the reason why and how you can actually make this value yours. So today you've learned why your values are key to your success and how to pick your top five values. I want you guys to make sure you download the resources in the link below and actually go out there and start identifying your top five values. In the next lesson, after we have done this, we're gonna discover your why, your vision, and your mission statement. So then that way you're gonna be able to equip yourself to defeat any hardship that you face in this journey. I'll see you guys in the next video.